and welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. It's time to take a look at another feature that will assist you with your shop needs. Let's take a look today at how we can pick materials through Workstation Driver. There are two things that you're going to need in order to pick materials through Workstation Driver. The first is Workstation Driver. The second is an employee that is attached to the necessary transaction. If you expand data collection, underneath data collection there is a transaction setup option. We're going to select transaction setup. From there I'm going to hit the search button to show you all the different transactions that are available for you to assign employees to within Workstation Driver. Today we're talking about picking materials through Workstation Driver. So there are two functionalities that you could turn on to make this happen. The first is issue by rec, or better known as issue by requirement. The second is issue by job. Today we're going to be talking about issue by job, but just know that issue by requirement will essentially do the same thing. The requirement number would show up on your traveler. So when you go into the transaction, there is going to be a tab called employee. Under that employee tab is where you are attaching the employee that you want to give permission to this specific type of transaction. You can see that we have two different employees that are selected or have been added to this issue by job transaction type. So we know that when we go into Workstation Driver, our employee Anthony Parker or Richard Helverson would be able to pick materials through Workstation Driver. So let's go in and take a look at how they would do that. I'm going to minimize Job Boss and bring up Workstation Driver, which you're seeing here on my screen now. I'm going to enter in Anthony Parker's employee ID. And when Anthony Parker's employee ID has been entered, you'll notice at the top it says Anthony Parker. And on the left hand side, there are various transaction types that he has permission to do. One of them is Job Issues. Job Issues is also known as Picking Materials. So we're going to select the job issues transaction type from the left hand side. And on the right hand side, the two buttons issue by rec and issue by job then become available. In this case, we're going to be talking about issue by job because I have a job number in mind that we're going to be using today, which is 10161. I'm going to key in that job number. I'm going to hit the tab key. From there, you may have noticed that the view job tab became available at the bottom. If I select the View Job tab, again we're looking at Picks, I'm going to select the Picks button within that. When I do that, I can see all of the materials that are listed as Pick Requirements on the job. In this case, we can see that we have two different materials. We have the Stud Ball and we have that 14 gauge carbon steel. I'm specifically just going to pick the Stud Ball today just to show you how you can do this. So now that I've verified which materials that I want to pick, I can come back over to the, um, the issue by job screen here and from there I can either enter in the material ID which I've frankly already forgot and if you have forgotten that the other option is you can look up what materials are associated to this job number by simply selecting the magnifying glass on the right hand side. So once I've done that you're now seeing the two different materials that you have available to pick. In this case like I mentioned we were going to pick the stud ball so I'm going to select that by clicking on it and hitting the select button and you can now see that ma that material ID has been added it's associated to this job and my last thing that I need to do or one of the last things I need to do is tell job boss or tell rather workstation driver which is going to tell job boss how much material we need to pick so in this case the job was requiring 510 so I've entered 510 I'm going to select my close rec checkbox and I'm going to hit my green check mark here where it says accept entry. Once I do that, you'll notice that that material has been processed for that job and I have now taken the quantity and cost of that material out of inventory and placed it on the job. So once I'm done, I can hit the I'm done button and it will bring me right back to the black screen or the main menu of data collection. Now I do want to show you that if I pull up workstation, I'm sorry, if I pull up job boss, that job boss is tracking the movement of that material and I can see that through the reports tab 
So if I select reports and I expand material control, under material control there is a inventory changes report or there is your transaction register report. So that's how you pick materials using Workstation Driver and how you can pick materials as close to real time as possible. Thank you for tuning in for another Tech Tip Tuesday and we'll catch you all in the next couple of weeks.